It's another edition of Local 6 Legal Line on this Local 6 Midday. Glad to have you along if you have a question regarding personal injury. Number should be there at the bottom of your screen. If not, it'll be there in a moment. 1-888-208-6946. There it is. And uh, give us a shot. We'll try to get the uh, question answered for you before we get out of here. We do have another segment coming up here in about 20 minutes. So it should, there should be plenty of time. But uh, Kevin Shannon, Austin Kennedy, I need to introduce these fine-looking gentlemen of the Bryant Law Center in Paducah. And let's get to uh, the first question. Susan says, uh, over Metropolis, does the other person's insurance company have to provide me with a rental car while my property damage claim is getting worked out, or should I get one on my own? Uh, I'll take that one. The, uh, the insurance company for the at-fault driver should uh, provide you with a rental car. Uh, sometimes that's easier said than done. Sometimes they're not very cooperative. And if you have the ability to uh, get that uh, rental car through your own insurance company, you can go that route. Your insurance company would then get its money back uh, from the other insurance company, kind of behind the scenes, so to speak. Uh, the one thing that I always caution people about, though, with uh, rental cars is that uh, that opens up an entirely new can of worms for insurance coverages. So if you do decide to get a rental car, uh, I would say do that only if you absolutely positively have to and then make sure you have the appropriate insurance coverages to take care of you in the event uh, something bad happens while you have that rental car. For example, you, you know, a deer runs out and damages that car. You want to make sure you're covered. So uh, it, it's not quite as easy as it seems, but back to the question and the answer, uh, the other insurance company should provide you with a rental car while your property damage claim is getting worked out. And those rental cars, if they're an extended period of time, could run into quite a bit of money. So, yeah, I'd want somebody else to pay for that, they too. They really do. Absolutely. Well, Paula has a question. Uh, she's from Paducah. Says, do I have to take what the insurance company offers me for my car? I guess the short answer to that would be no, you do not. Um, but before we kind of get into that, I'd like to say that you need to um, keep in mind that you don't have to settle with any particular insurance company. If you have collision coverage with your own policy, uh, say it was another person's fault in another vehicle insured by um, uh, some other insurance company. You can also contact your insurance company. Maybe they'd be easier to get a hold of, uh, talk to, evaluate your car. Um, you need to keep in mind that uh, I would get on the Kelly Blue Book or National Highway Safety, look up fair market values for your vehicle. Um, if it's not total, then you'll have to get uh, an estimate. A lot of times insurance companies will uh, come to your house and do that or have it towed and have it uh, estimated that way. Um, but uh, keep in mind that if you do settle with your insurance company, uh, it could be subject to a deductible. Uh, your insurance would obviously fight to get that deductible paid back to you, uh, assuming there is another at-fault party with another insurance company um, in, the, in the accident. Uh, but if you, uh, if you have any more questions about property damage, just feel free to, to call the office. We have a little bit more than a minute left on this segment, and we have a question from Angela. She says her son was struck by a vehicle at a gas station, and I'm guessing not the car, but her son was actually hit. Now, if the police are able to find the people responsible, does he have grounds to sue? Uh, yes, he would, and uh, he, they may not actually have to find uh, the driver that hit him. Uh, if you have uninsured motorist coverage on uh, on any auto policies that you or your son have, uh, he may be able to make a claim for uninsured motorist benefits because uh, at least in Kentucky, most uninsured motorist uh, coverages define an uninsured uh, vehicle to include a hit and run vehicle. So uh, he may have a couple options there on that particular claim. We do have a question regarding the difference between uninsured and underinsured motorists, and I don't think we have time to get that answered in this segment. But good news, these two guys will be back here in about 20 minutes. We'll have round two of Local 6 Legal Line. We'll answer more of your questions, including that differential there. But meanwhile, if you've got more questions, feel free to give us a call at 1-888-208-6946.